Today I will be showing you my workstation setup based around Apple's newly released M1 MacBook Pro. As you can see behind me, I have four displays connected to this laptop, and not only that, they're actually 4K displays all running at 3840 by 2160 resolution. Normally the M1 MacBook Pro only supports one external display up to 4K or maybe 5K resolution, so you're probably wondering how I pulled this off. Well, in this video, I'll show you how I did this and how the performance is, and let's dive in. I use my workstation for a variety of tasks, from 3D modeling to writing software to editing videos for this YouTube channel. Typically, I am most focused on the two lower monitors where I keep my primary tasks, such as a few terminal emulators or Adobe Premiere Pro. On the top monitors, I tend to keep reference materials such as manuals or a text editor open for note keeping. I also like to keep my music or a YouTube video playing in the background, and it's nice to have them visible all the time. I like a clean setup, so I use cable mounts to affix USB hubs, cables, and other accessories to the underside of my sit-stand desk. It looks nice from above, and is organized chaos from below. Here you can see power distribution, USB hubs, SD card reader, and the star of the show, the Targus QV4K docking station, which allows these four monitors to operate from the single MacBook Pro. Here you can see the quad DisplayPort 1.2 connections that branch off to my displays. I also have my speakers connected here. One USB-C plugs into the MacBook and the entire desk is lit up. All of the accessories start to work. This is a nice setup because it means that I have just a pair of cables attached to the desk, power and ethernet. And as you can see here, I've combined them together using some spiral wrap, which makes it look really good. So let's talk performance. As you can tell, I'm a power user and I expect a lot from the devices that I add to my workflow. I can honestly say that this is mind-blowingly good. This Targus QV 4K docking station is based on DisplayLink technology, which means that the frame buffer is rendered on the internal GPU of the MacBook Pro and then streamed over USB-C to the dock where it is sent out to the monitors. The performance is excellent and was even improved since DisplayLink released an ARM native driver for this chipset. Now there's obviously a compromise here. USB-C doesn't have enough bandwidth to update all four of these displays, all 33 megapixels of these monitors at the same time. And the trade-off here is a little bit of color depth and CPU time. DisplayLink uses a similar codec that is used for streaming video games over the internet. So it will reduce color depth and use a very lightweight form of compression that doesn't tax the CPU very much and manages to squeeze a lot of the image into the smaller USB-C pipe. Now this is great because normally only one region of a display is updating, especially if you're using something simple like a text editor. But even playing a movie on one monitor works just fine. And as you can see here, I'm playing a movie on all four monitors and it's working well too. So obviously this is working fairly well. It's a compromise, but it's one that I'm willing to make for this awesome portable setup. Video editing has proven to be a great experience. I would say that the one caveat here is that DisplayLink does apply the mild compression that I talked about earlier. So if you're concerned about color grading or how the compression might affect that, you know, it could be a concern. I personally don't mind and I don't think it's a problem. These displays aren't color calibrated and I think that the impact on color is pretty modest, but it is there and so I wouldn't want to use this with a high-end 10-bit display, but for my application here, I'm really happy. In addition to my YouTube fun, I'm a software engineer by day. I want crisp fonts and low latency input to my shell. These are both paramount to my productivity. I can honestly say that this is a great setup for coding. I can run my shell with 11-point Ubuntu Mono, and the text is extremely crisp. The input latency is very low. I can't tell the difference between a natively attached monitor and one that is attached over DisplayLink. This is likely due to the fact that when you're typing in a shell, the little tiny areas where the characters are is the only thing that is changing. And so obviously the latency is going to be pretty good when you only have to update such a small area of the screen. So for me, this trade-off is pretty easy to make because the use case that I have in mind is pretty much productivity, which is what these docs are made for. So the next topic that we should discuss is how games perform in this environment. I'm a fairly casual gamer. My favorite title is Minecraft. Uh, the performance on this setup is at least as good as my previous Mac Pro, so this is good enough. My Mac Pro was pretty heavily CPU constrained. I had a really high-end GPU attached on an older PCIe bus with some older gen Xeon CPUs. So obviously this is going to be a pretty good contender in that, uh, in that arena. The bar here is pretty low for me though, honestly. So if you're a gamer, this is probably not the setup for you, but for me, someone who plays games pretty casually, not too often, this is a, a perfectly fine compromise. And as the demo earlier showed with multiple copies of a movie playing on different screens, it's probably going to keep up just fine, enough for the game to be playable and enjoyable. The last thing I can discuss is the convenience factor of this setup. 
I came from a pair of aging Mac Pro workstations from 2009, and it was always a consideration to me for where I should keep my files or do my work. Now it can all be done on a single laptop. I unplug a couple of cables from the laptop and take my work with me. The laptop runs cool on my desk while driving the displays too. It's really impressive what Apple's pulled off with the silicon. The device can run at near full CPU load and it runs fairly cool even in a laptop form factor. So that's my take on four external displays running on an M1 MacBook Pro using uh, DisplayLink technology, which is pretty popular these days. As you can see, it works really well. I'm really happy with this setup. It's been nice to replace the pair of aging Mac Pros with officially supported Apple hardware. It makes things easier from an OS upgrade standpoint. Stability, having the latest, greatest features without kind of futzing around too much with that older hardware. So normally my channel is focused on kind of DIY electronics projects, development type things. And uh, this is definitely a diversion from my usual content. But if you wanna see more from me, feel free to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. That really encourages me to do this more. If you have any comments or questions about the setup or if you're trying to replicate it or do something similar, feel free to drop them below and I'll do my best to answer. I definitely read comments, so feel free to leave them. That's all I've got for now. And so with that, I will see you next time.